Hello guys, this is my first ever unboxing or review video. I hope this year I can create more content for this channel. So let's get started. On today's video, we'll be unboxing the new Apic Point 2 Mechanical Keyboard by Rock Gears. This mechanical keyboard is one of the cheapest on the market, priced for about 1,500 pesos or $30. The box is much more premium looking compared to its predecessors. Out of the box, it contains a switch and a keycap puller, which is a plus point for this price range. Next is the keyboard itself. It is quite heavy for its build, having an alloy top panel covered in silicone matte and the rest of the body having a matte plastic finish. On the back side, you have 4 rubber feet and 2 riser stands. The keyboard features an exposed switch design but no thanks to the silicone cover, the LEDs are less vibrant. But overall, the aesthetics are good. The riser stand gives enough inclination to comfortably help in resting your wrist while typing and gaming, reducing the stain received when in use. The keyboard is a multicolored LED. Bad news for RGB lovers. But it features 7 light modes. Here is a quick preview on the lighting effects. Stay tuned on the next video about the secret lighting effects on this keyboard. It has an easy replaceable Otemu Blue switches which has 50 million click lifespan. It is a full mechanical keyboard with anti-ghosting 104 keys. I can't say much about it because it's my first time having a mechanical keyboard and I'm only using this for half a day now. But this keyboard doesn't disappoint me. It is a good keyboard for the first time user. The construction of the keyboard is mostly plastic, but it shows zero to little flex when forced applied, and is comparable with other entry level mechanical keyboards. It has a silicone cover for added protection and easy cleanup. The USB cable is not braided, contrary to what's written on the box. It is also lacking a velcro tie for wire management. At this price point, I wasn't really expecting much. But somehow, Rockier managed to include most of the features while maintaining a low price point. It is a well-suited gaming keyboard. But for this price range, you're getting more for your money's worth. Having a much premium appeal than its predecessor brown packaging, the included keycap and switch puller is a plus. Even most keyboard manufacturers don't include a keycap and switch puller, even in their flagship models. But the downside of it is having no manual whatsoever on the box or on the website. It is a big hassle for first-time user to manually experiment on the features. The Rock Apic Point 2 is priced at 1,500 pesos. 
At this price, absolutely nothing beats it. Overall, the Rock Epic Point 2 is a great choice for the first-time users wanting to get their hands on a genuine mechanical keyboard. Adjusting your typing style will not require a lot of time because of the medium actuation force required by the Otemo Blue switches. I hope Rock Gear may correct the label errors on the box and they should include at least a small manual for the newbies like me. I hope I can also upgrade my Rock Kill Dup mouse as soon as possible. Thanks EasyPC! Thank you guys for watching and see you again on the next video. Support us by clicking the like button and sharing this video. And don't forget to subscribe! And down there is the link to our Facebook page that you should totally follow. So as always, stay curious!